Hey, what's up? Welcome to this uh, dedication to uh, one of our founding members. Goes by the name of Trace Two. I'm DJ M. Sijunski, and I'm here with the founding father that can tell you all about his cousin and uh, a founding member, Trace Two. So, Batch, with that, take it away, my brother. All right. Um, before I move on to talking about this magnificent person, Trace Two, um, my cousin, my brother, my friend, I mean, before I move on, say anything about this humble brother my let me just say that um I wanna give my respects, my homage, my considerations to my brother Abby and this new amazing global T B B T B G Rock and Cook global family all around the world. I wanna thank you all today for making this nation expand the way it had throughout 1998. Um, credit is due where people have sacrificed whatever it has taken for you to get where you are at today. And I'm very proud for every one of you all out there who represents this culture of ours. Um, if we're going to talk about trades too, let me just say something very important. Let me share with you all the specialness, the greatness of what this individual was worth in the hip hop culture, if you want to call it that, overall. Okay, um, I want to, I, I want to touch on, um, I want you to touch on, on your memorable moments with him. Okay, let me just add that um, Trace 2, whenever I needed Trace 2 to go with me anywhere, whether it was a battle in the rocking floor, whether it was a battle in the battlefields, Trace never let me down. He, he was just an amazing person that dedicated his life to show the love and the passion that he believed on, for whether we was family or not, that was just trace too for you. Um, I think that if 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 it wasn't for trace too, I mean, who had motivated me into moving on at times when I was just sick and tired of putting up through what we had to go through all these broken down buildings, burned down Bronx, you know. I mean, I, I don't even think that TPP would have lasted to 1979 the way it, it did. Um, unfortunately, I, yes, I had to break up the Bronx Boys rocking crew, but guess what? It was Trace 2 who had motivated this whole TPP rocking crew nation to the point where <laughs> if it wasn't about TPP, he didn't want to hear it because he was so involved so connected to the hip hop culture to where he felt that he had something to offer all of us. And when TBB came back out in 1998, when Abby had bring it back out, he would write to me all these letters telling me about how grateful he was, how inspirational it was for him to take the stage and be able to communicate to all of you people out there that he met. He loved you guys because he used to come see me, talk about nothing but the new global family. He was like, Bash, you got to see this. You got to come home. You know, this is not never going to be that old same TBB stuff that we had back in the days. These kids are amazing. He told me that when he when he took the stage and you guys would hear him speak, he said it felt like it was so powerful. It, I mean, the, the, the atmosphere, the love, the, 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 the sharing, it was so amazing to him. I, I swear it to everything I love that he would bring you guys up all the time and he would, just couldn't wait for me to come home and be there with him and shared my story in front of him and in front of all you guys. 
I mean, it's so sentimental to me that, you know, uh, um, to just realize that he's not in the physical form here with us today, it, it, it disturbs me to the point to where I just can't even accept that he's gone today. Um, I want to thank each and every single one of you who have supported Trace Tool, who have listened and shared his, his, his videos and, and commented on Trace Tool and posted so many beautiful about so many beautiful things about my brother Trace. You know, a lot of people didn't even know that he was literally my cousin. But yes, indeed, he was not just my cousin. He was my best friend. He was my guarding angel in so many ways. And he sacrificed his life for me when it was needed. Even at times when I made him go through stuff that he would oppose, he would still be there for me. To be realistic, if it wasn't for Trace too, I probably would have been dead today. Because um, I remember one time a guy was ready to chop my head right off when I was on the floor going to war with some guys and Trace 2 just popped out of nowhere. I saw this big lion coming running as I looked inside and the guy was on top of me with this big machete. And Trace 2 just almost kicked his whole head off and the guy flew right out of my body. And um you know, he was like, your bash, you know, you're gonna get us killed one of these days, you know. I guess that was one of the reasons why I was always such a problematic kid and and wind up doing so much unnecessary time in the prison system which don't prove anything positive at all. Maybe if I should have or had listened to Trace too, I would not have never been through what I've been through. And even though he lost his life at the battle of, of uh, 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 um, epilepsy attacks and being overweight and um, seizures and you know uh, asthma problems, even though he's gone today, his strength, his determination, and his love for TBB lives right here because the root never died. By the way, my brother Abby just sent me these beads very recently. I want to thank you so much for that, and peace to my brother Trace too would love for me to wear these bees. Um, I want to just thank every single one of you out there today in Philadelphia who is celebrating Trace 2. I think that this is one of the most important events. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not there in the flesh to celebrate this event with you because of my situation with the, um, the parole board and all of that. But, um, um, I just want to thank you all for just having that love, that dedication, that devotion, that amazing energy to share such events for a brother that deserved more than that in life. If it was the other way around where I could sacrifice my life, my cousin Trace, I will not have no problems in doing that for him. Trace too was not just a b-boy, he was an amazing man, a jolly green giant, a Hulk Hogan that some might mistaken as a white boy but who loved the African American history. I guarantee you this, if you see him, whatever he drew, there was always a little black character right there in a very profound way he would draw it because he had love for the hood and the people that suffer from degradation, poverty and all the suffering that we all go through in our subcultural society. I want to thank every one of you who celebrated Trace 2 event today so much from the bottom of my heart. If I'm not there in the physical form you all better believe that I am there, spiritually and in the soul-wise. I am there with you, I promise you. And the minute I get off this parole stuff that's holding me from 
doing so much thing for you guys out there. I will show up to every single one of the events that everybody have it inbox me to show up to celebrate even Trace's event. People who done make beautiful graffiti pieces for Trace's all around the world and wait for me to come through and see them lively. I will be there. At this moment, I'm going through some difficult times uh, with the parole thing where I'm not allowed to travel. So I just want to add that to the trace piece. Um, I really have no other significant questions to be able or answers to be able to give to you guys. But trace too, for those of you that got to meet them in person, please. I encourage you guys to share your thoughts with the world to what you saw personally what he had to say to the world and I really really sincerely want everyone out there to know that Trace too will forever live in our hearts just as long the TBB TBG rocking culture is still alive and well these days and for all of you that been bringing up his name and supporting him and doing everything that it takes for this man's legacy to be alive. I'm right there for you to represent Trace too, the jolly giant, a magnificent man, a magnificent father, a grandfather, a die, do or die situation with TBB for life. He loved us all tremendously because he shared it with me personally. He shared tears with me in the visiting room. How much he wanted me to go out and see the powerful love that we have out here today. With this said and done, I just want to say I love you all. Pluto 7, Johnny Jules, of course, Abby, the global president these days, and all you TVB and TVG members who have participated and to hear me out today and who's attending this, this awesome event. I really, really love you guys all, always. I promise you that. Thank you so much for your encouragement, for in, in, inspirational motivation that's keeping me out here with you guys. I'm not going to leave you guys down no matter what I go through. Long live the king, Trace to Respectfully speaking, I am Badge. Peace. Peace. And to my familia that's putting this thing on, Beth, Pluto, uh, the Soul Cipher is called in Philadelphia, 2016, February 27th. I'd like to say a quick God bless you all. I honor you and guys. And you stay safe. Thank you, everybody. Love, peace. Peace, man. Peace, Batch. I'm June. God Steve. bless you, man. We're TBB. You know, Fahrenheit. It's all about being TBG. humble, people. You Global. know, knowledge is wisdom, man. You know, let's all keep that in mind. And again, man, you know, we are a tremendous family, man. You know, Philadelphia, rock on, baby. Global TVB, TVG people, I love you guys. Fahrenheit 75, we are your guardian angels. This is what it stands for. Please also do that history. We love you guys. Peace. We out.